All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. So, um, a couple of days ago, I played some more of this game. But unfortunately, my recording setup was not set up right at all, and so I missed all of the gameplay. Um, basically, what happened story-wise, I made it to Lambda Station. I met this um, AI named Catherine who was formerly a human, but she didn't talk much about that. And we kind of learned more about the world, what had been going on. Uh, we learned about this project called The Ark, where the denizens of this research base underwater who had survived this comet impacting the Earth, basically were doing a neurograph of computerizing their brains and trying to upload it to this like basically cloud server that they were gonna launch on, like a Voyager probe into space. Unfortunately, the probe did not launch successfully. It's um, stuck at the Omicron station right next to Theta. Um, all the substations of this research base are named after uh, the Greek alphabet. Um, and yeah, so we, we had a lot more world building. We had a lot more interacting with the environment. Uh, we had an excellently scripted horror sequence where we were going through the wreckage of this old ship and basically had to disconnect some cables from the nuclear reactor, and there was this thing chasing us the whole way that we couldn't look at, uh, which just made it even spookier. Very well designed. I'm really sad I missed that gameplay. Um, but now I am going into... I forget the name of the station, but um, I had just met this, this broken-down robot right outside who I started talking with her. It was very clear she thought she was on the Ark, you know, that she had been... Her brain had been imaged and survived and made it to the Ark, but unfortunately, and kind of depressingly, she was broken down on the seafloor and incapable of moving. Um, so our player character in conversation lied to her and told her, yeah, you made it, you know, blah, 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 which I think is pretty cruel. I wouldn't have done that. But yeah, that's just where we are story-wise. I'm going to dive right in. But yeah, we're getting all the bases covered for horror. Uh, we've got like body horror, um, environmental horror, technology horror, um, intellectual horror, if that's a thing. It's, it's a very well-made game. And Frictional Games pretty much wrote their game engine from scratch, I'm pretty sure. I think you can find an old version on GitHub. But they make very well scripted, you know, very concise, almost like stock car horror games. Uh, their first big title was Amnesia, The Dark Descent, which uh, rightly was critically appraised. Praise, not appraised. So. I need a faster hard drive. Oof. Spinning discs, Seekhead. I'm old. What's going on now? Maybe it's because I'm recording. That might be hitting the hard drive at the same time. I should get a different hard drive for recording. Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Mip mapping. Error. There we go. Okay, so I did make it to Theta. Uh. Okay, so that's where the uh, I think she was called Rose Smith was the name of the poor lady broken down on the sea floor. Yeah, and kind of another facet of the story, I think I saw bits and pieces when I first got, you know, woke up. But pretty much, we don't really know how long things have been like this, or how long it's been since humans were around the station. I might have been able to figure out if I had kind of been more careful looking at the dates and timestamps for some of the documents I uncovered. 
but um but yeah it's still a mystery our player character of course is an android he didn't know that at first but knows now and it appears that there are a decent there are at least a couple of humans still alive but mostly it's the computers are the only ones left alive including myself A webcam like that. Logitech. Ah, uh, no bounce. That's super sad. Is this a red stapler? No. Look at this gamer. gamer we're here we're here okay great time to hijack ourselves a submarine there will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that you guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here what makes this one so special it's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup if this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah... Uh... Damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Yeah, I still don't know what's going on here. So basically, we were also told that the central intelligence for the research station basically went A-wire and was behaving like some kind of cancer. And so that's why we see all these weird growths everywhere, is something with the central AI. But Catherine claims that it's not behaving in an intelligent fashion. It's just like blind growth like a cancer. I don't know that I trust Catherine, especially given that her neurochip is also corrupted. Um, so we'll see what happens. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone who knows the security cipher. But yeah, I don't trust Catherine. I'm, I'm assuming she's going to probably stab me in the back at some point or something. Something just doesn't feel right so far. Oh gosh. So yeah, corrupted growths. This is like the motif of the bad stuff. Thanks, Dromar. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. Let's go here second. I'm going to check the more brightly lit place first. Oh, 
Oh. My heart. I'm too old for this. We're just gonna ignore that. What happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make any sense. It's clearly the best option for survival. So yeah, I don't know how long it's been since real life humans have been active throughout this research station. When I went on the radio, not a lot of humans left. Catherine was the only one who answered, but even she was a machine. Where the hell did they all go? If they was out of the picture, where would you go? Well, we've seen Lambda already. They all helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Regardless, that noise is not good for the nasties it could attract. This is pretty scary. Man, this environment design. Doors close. Guy Conrad. I don't like the name Conrad. Ooh, this is the Catherine's room. Like our little robot person. as well. So for some reason this thing heals us. I don't know if it also corrupts me, but... What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. It helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. The WAU is the, um... The rogue AI. Oh. That 
was uh, so whenever the screen flashes like that, that's the spooky monster. <laughs> Oh, that's making that scratching noise? I thought something living was doing that. Damn. This is pretty messed up. So, a uh, content warning, I guess. Is this a kid or an adult drew this? This looks like a kid drew it, but the adult put it up on their... Wall. Yeah, so as a family. Gosh, that's depressing. Wow. Oh, and they had a cat. Ah, uh, rich horse people. Gotta watch out for those. Oh, this is so sad. We're, do we're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in... Sering, the scientist guy, and the continuity. I don't think that's how that works. So basically, they they what they thought they were told is if they have like their brain scan done, you know, at an instant then that's basically the same as them. And and so some people got the mistaken idea that if they die right after their neurograph happens, then, like, their continuity of consciousness is uninterrupted. While that may be the case, you know, their original consciousness is still dead. And I don't know if all of them kind of got the the memo. What was this, the name on this store? I want to see if this is Rose Smith, who we met earlier. Yeah, this is super sad. Oh no, Robin. Was it Robin? It might have been Robin, not Rose. Still sad. Oh, this is Sering. So this is the scientist dude. Wouldn't this be a cool desk ornament? You see, my brain looks exactly like this, except for not so many folds, because, you know... I'm not that smart. I'm like a koala. My brain is smooth. No folds. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by... Okay. By ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine. I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it into my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, ca quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know that there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you to all do the same and join me inside the ark. Mark Saring. Uh, so clearly he knows better, but I'm not sure the rest of these people do. At least from what I've gathered. Ooh, an Erlen Meyer flask. Is that texture missing? What is this thing? Oh no, this is the drinking bird, the water in the back. This must be the art. Who 
218. External event zero. Mr. Saring, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WAU, so the AI, a stationwide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johann Ross is able to steer and study the WAU from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully exterminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WAU is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The supervisory board. Uh, okay, so this is... This is like just over nine months before impact of the comet. So he had been doing something strange with the station-wide intelligence well before the disaster. Ooh, math. I like math. Ooh, we got some integrals going on here. The why you would take an integral of... Oh, gosh. This is, uh, this is some calc... I don't know that I got that part. This is like the... You do it on the thing, like, as it's going. Uh... Like D of X in terms of T or something weird. But it's like for doing a function is a thing of another function. Multivariable count. There you go. Warden unit circuit map. So it looks like all of these converge at theta. So that's why he's here. Clearly things were going wrong well before... Oh, damn. So he knows something's wrong with the WAU, but he's not really intervening as far as I can tell. Yeah. Something is very wrong here. And I don't like how the Saren guy has tested approval from the supervisory board. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so in this book, blah, blah, blah. Great philosophers. Some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Wow, okay, so they designed and fabricated all this. So ion engines have a very high specific impulse, so they're very fuel efficient. They run on electricity, basically high miles per gallon, but in space terms. And then just solar panels and other basic crap. Yeah. To search my room. We'll get by. So she's well read too. The junk looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean? Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's it, it it's a long story. Forget it.
Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by the WAU, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like somebody had specifically created it for WAU to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that the WAU copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat, flat people constructed from model neurographs, the Vivarium brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerged. The read inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. So I don't, this is kind of getting past me. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate the WAU scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats, so what they use to remote pilot um, robots through just like neural scanning, basically, are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WAU has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. So the robots using human phrases. This is kind of creepy. So the WAU is keeping a warehouse full of uh, brains and jars of humans, basically. The WAU must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machine. That's really creepy, but that's kind of scientifically plausible. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun, so it's like an electromagnetic accelerator that shoots stuff into space, which is what this station was originally for. It's nice to think something will live on like that. And so this is only nine days after. Mark Saring killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the ARC. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope this will calm down. So that was July 12th. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before, unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence, makes the weather system so much better. Implemented read didn't go well. New try with read. Read won't play nicely with others. She is too real. Uh, that's very concerning. These things really creep me out. The dolls. So, that was thoroughly weird. <laughs> This is our space engineer person.
first time I've seen glass break in this game. Ooh, look at these physics. I didn't know the engine had that. Also a family person. No neurochips though, so nothing no tool chips either. Nothing of use to me. It's unfortunate. Alright, so there and back behind me might have been spawn points for the bad guy. And this is just a hidey hole to hide in. Oh, did somebody sm commit seppuku inside here? Why do I hear flies buzzing? Thank goodness. This looks like it was sealed for a reason. Let's find out why. Ooh, I don't like this. This is some kind of laboratory. This is the pilot seat for remote controlling robots and doing brain scans, apparently. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. 300 pounds? Oh. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Poor Catherine. It's heartbreaking. Oh. So the WAU. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Legacy scans. The Namani composition. Compressed Nakajimi, Nakajima neurograph. 
author Nakajima Shin. Was that the guy who was that weird dude who's not a doctor in the beginning of the game? Is this the guy himself? Okay. The Namani female died 2021, so almost 80 years ago. Japanese. <laughs> Berg. Nakajima Neurograph. David Munchi. This is definitely the guy who did it, the Munchi. Paul Berg, male, died 2069, Canadian. So this must have been the same lab. How did this... Oh, so Berg and Munchie were the two doctors working together. Well, not doctors. Munchie was the computer guy. And apparently they did scans of each other and me. I'm this Jarrett character. So what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Wow. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. That's good for you, Simon Jarrett, but I'm stuck in here, in the Matrix. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope wasted what's a legacy scan they're historic templates for AI construction any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore but they're great for learning they come with every development kit so my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence you should be proud so much for that mystery no magic or time travel needed I was here all along Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Maybe, but also maybe not. Is this murder? Am I murdering these poor folks in the computer?
He's dead, Cat. The real Simon is dead. And I'm a replica of that scan Munchie did, thinking he's Simon. What did you expect? I don't know. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. An explanation? Maybe an apology? Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. Not from you. I, well, thanks, I guess. I deleted the file, so hopefully I'll be the last Simon to suffer through this place. Ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. So the dialogue is great in this game. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much liked it as well. Cozy. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Damaged. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Oh, am I going to reanimate this computer chip here? Uh, isn't there an expression, let sleeping dogs lie? I feel like we're not doing that. I wonder what this person is going to be from this scan. I gotta go to the basement, that's gonna be fun. Resetting, oh gosh darn, what year is it? And we still can't have routers reset themselves automatically? I mean, I believe it. Need to fix that mainframe connection. Mainframe, what year is it? All right, Murph's the big spooky bad guy. Maybe I save and quit before going into the dark spooky basement. Played enough tonight. Scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Yeah, I uh, I know how developers operate, and if you're part of the development kit, you're going to end up in production quite frequently, so that's not very nice. Not good stewards of that donated brain. Scan. Alright, I'm going to stop and save here.